Hello my beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while since I last posted a video, that is because I was busy with certain things. But here I am with another exciting video in the Water of the World series. So without any further ado, let's get started. And today we are going to talk about the lost city of Petra. Petra the World Wonder is surely Jordan's most valuable treasure and greatest tourist attraction. Petra is also known as the Rose Red City, a name it gets from the wonderful color of the rock from which many of the city's structures were created. These rocks looks like they have come straight from the painting book and someone has painted them with rich orange and pink shades. The Rose City is a honeycomb of hand-heaven caves, temples and thombs created from blushing pink sandstone in the high deserts of Jordan. Hidden by time and shifting sand, Petra tells a story of a lost civilization. Petra is located to 40 km south of Amman, the capital city of Jordan, and about midway between Damascus, Syria and the Red Sea, making it ideally suited as a hub of commerce in the area. It is not known precisely when Petra was built, but the city began to prosper as a capital of the Nabataean Empire from the 1st century BC, which grew rich through trades in perfume and spices. The Nabataeans were one among several nomadic Bedouin tribes that roamed the Arabian desert and moved with their herds to wherever they could find pasture and water. During the excavation, it was found that the Nabataean name of the old city was Rakim. Nabataeans were defeated by the mighty Romans in 106 AD. The Roman Emperor Tarazan formally annexed the city and Petra became part of Roman province of Arabia. Apparently, Roman didn't like the name Rakim, so they changed it into Arabia Petria. The name Petra derived from the Greek word which means rock. The Nabataeans profited for a while from their incorporation into the trade routes of the Roman, and Petra may have grown to house around 30,000 people during its heyday. However, commerce became less profitable to the Nabataeans with the shift of the trade routes to Pamera in Syria and the expansion of seaborne trade around the Arabian Peninsula. Around 3rd century AD, Petra became part of Byzantine Empire. Several of Petra's buildings are used as churches. But unfortunately, an earthquake in the year 363 AD destroyed many buildings and crippled the vital water management system. Sometimes, probably during the 4th century AD, the Nabataeans left their capital and abandoned Petra. Petra was only rediscovered by Swiss explorer Johann Bacquard in 1812 and it continues to spill its secrets. Now let's see the arrangement of Petra. First is the entrance of the city known as Bab al Sikh. Bab al Sikh means the gateway to the Sikh. There are three massive jean blocks which are squared monuments created out of rock. The next structure is the dam which was renovated by the government in 1964 in the same way originally built by the Nabataeans. This dam was built to protect their capital from flood that arrived during the seasonal rain. The dam represented the Nabataeans' skillful and modern infrastructure. Entrance to the city is through the Sikh, a narrow gorge over 1 km in length and a width of 3 to 12 meters, which is flanked on either side by soaring 80 meters high cliffs. The Sikh that leads to the city starts from the dam and ends at the treasury. The Sikh opens up onto Petra's most magnificent facade, the treasury or Al Khazne. The treasury was probably constructed in the 1st century BC. The treasury consists of two floors with a width of 25 meters and a height of 39 meters. The purpose of the treasury is unclear. Some archaeologists believe it to be a temple, while others thought it was a place to store documents. However, the most recent excavation here has unearthed a graveyard beneath the treasury. The other notable monument of Petra is the Monastery or Ad-Dir. It is one of the Petra's best known rock cut monument. It is an unfinished thumb facade that during Byzantine time was used as a church. Now let's talk about some of the important facts regarding Petra. 
Ancient city of Petra built to align with the sun, the Nabataean culture erected the city to highlight solstice and equinoxes. During certain times of the year, such as the winter solstice, the sun would highlight or align with some of the city's most important buildings. During the winter solstice in Petra, the setting sun creates effects of light and shadow around a sacred podium inside the monument known as Aldeir or the monastery, where the Nabataeans may have held religious festivals. Garden in desert. Although a desert, the Nabataeans were efficient water collectors and were even able to grow garden in the area. It wouldn't have been possible for Petra to exist if it had not been for the water channel system that was constructed to offer storage and supply for its people. It is just amazing to know how skillful the Nabataeans were. The oldest city, it is believed that Petra was established in 312 BC, making it one of the oldest cities in the world. Several monuments. There is not one or two monuments, but it's actually 800 individual monuments in Petra, which includes buildings, tombs, baths, funeral halls, temples, arch gateways, and were mostly carved from the multicolored sandstone. On December 6, 1985, Petra was designated a World Heritage Site. Until now, only 15% of Petra was discovered and 85% still underground. Continuous salt blowing from the Dead Sea is solidifying the pores of the sandstone and slowly hampering the structure. In addition to the magnificent remains of the Nabataean city, human settlement and land use for over 10,000 years can be traced in Petra where great natural, structural, archaeological and geological features merge. So here we come to an end. It was a short video but I tried to include everything I know. But if I had left anything regarding the topic, please let me know in the comment box. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more stuffs like this. I will meet you guys with another video. Till then, bye bye and take care of yourself.